integrated care for people over 65 years in Salford has been running as a pilot in Eccleton Swinton for nearly a year. The approach is based on Sally Ford and how, by everyone working together, we can all make it easier for Sally to look after herself at home safely and help Sally to find the right support or help when she needs it. Abel Sally is someone who lives in her own home. Sally is active in a way she chooses and can do things for herself and maybe even others. Tech and T was uh, involved, uh, it, was, it was for the silver surfers if you like, as, as much as anything. Uh, people who uh, have bought a computer or a, a, an iPad or a phone and really uh, they don't know how to use them properly. Uh, or, or they stuck on certain issues with them and uh, there was help available to uh, uh, put them on the right track. How did we find out? Well it was a chance visit to Age Concern to inquire about the gas and electricity um, changeover and I was given the information of this class which we thought would be very handy for us because we've all got computers and don't really know what we're doing with them. So Like a social event now it isn't is, it? It's yeah, lovely. Yes, yeah. I knew a bit of uh, computers, but uh, I didn't know anything about online banking. So that's what I was taught last week. And it's great really for somebody our age group, because we are at a loss of how to spend our time. We're only young pensioners really, and to find something that suits us, like one thing leads to another, because we, we actually did a photography course as well over the weekend, which so was, has yeah. led on from this. So what's next? Yeah. <laughs> My wife died. Uh, I was uh, in shock, total shock. It was so quick. It made me more, what's the word? In, is it introvert? No, I went into myself. He said, You need to get out. I said, yeah, no, I'll get out. I'll get out when I'm ready. You know, and I'm not ready yet. I don't want to go out. I'm all right. Leave me alone. No, he wouldn't. Yeah. Constantly being pestered by him. In the end, I had to shut him up. And the only way I could do that was go. And uh, that's been a big change. It's, 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 I'm getting my life back. I'm almost there. I'm getting my life back. I still miss her. I still miss my son. You know, but just life goes on. And that's my attitude now. Life goes on. I take each day as it comes. Need some help, Sally? Could have or live with someone with an unstable long-term medical condition which needs some professional support. She or her partner may also be in the early stages of dementia. With a small amount of help or a short-term intervention, Sally is able to maintain her independence and well-being. Um, we've done postural stability for uh, many, many years now um, and we've always wanted to do a maintenance because um, we, at the moment it's 12 weeks um, and evidence shows that it needs to be a lot longer to get real benefits to be honest. Most of the time they come in about 15, 20 or something like that, really, really shy and then by about week three or something they're all starting to make friends, giving each other's numbers and things like that and by the end they're absolutely gutted that it's finishing. Um, there's a great friendship been built up here, you know, and um, the physios are great, yeah. and they work us, they work us hard. I, I don't have a Monday morning feeling when I come here, you know, oh. it's more a Friday afternoon one. No, it is lovely to come, and um, we sort of watch each other and see how the other one's doing and encourage each other. Because if he gets stuck in sometimes and you don't move out, there's nothing worse than four wells. When I first come, I thought, well, this won't help much, you know, but I, I, I think it's a sort of course you've got to persevere with and, yeah. you know, stick to it, really. I've been falling since I was born, so, you know, I can't expect him to work miracles, but he has helped a lot. <laughs> Needs more help Sally relies on daily support at home or may choose to live in a more supported housing environment. 
By providing Sally with the right equipment and access to good quality services, Sally is able to live life as she chooses and even improve her health and well-being. Right, well, we work for Salford Care on call and we provide a 24 hour a day, 365 day a year response service. So anybody from the age of 18 upwards that is vulnerable, living at home, we can provide the service to respond if somebody falls in an emergency. So if somebody was at home and pressed the pendant because they'd fallen, we could arrive with our lifting equipment and get them back on the feet, having done a top-to-toe -to -toe assessment. Well, we do have a lot of clients that are prone to falling, and without this service, they would undoubtedly end up in res residential care. It stops the need for the person having to go to hospital. Uh, we've used this equipment over 600 times within the last 12 months. So the person doesn't need an ambulance and it frees the North West Ambulance Service up. Needs a lot of help Sally may need 24 hour a day support if she chooses to live at home or live in a residential housing. By providing the right equipment and everyone working together to support Sally, her quality of life can be improved. And since coming home um, now, you just, I don't see a big change in her now because I see her every day. Mm. But Clive comes once a week and he'll say, you know, she's like perky this week. Yeah. And see, I've so seen a great change in her, like, face. in her attitude, you know, in a smile, in a conversation. She's now taking part in conversation back to her, own, her, her old self. And we laugh saying that it's nice that we have that banter because it's her character coming out again. Whereas before, she was so sleepy all the time, um, you know, and obviously being turned every two hours um, physically by somebody disturbs you, and I don't know how long it took her to get back to sleep once she'd been turned. Now she's got the toto, she's, you know, so much more alive during the day, isn't she? Mm. Because she's having that good night's sleep and a restful sleep. By everyone, including Sally, family, friends, neighbours, third sector organisations and health and wellbeing professionals all working together, we can make a big difference to the lives of mature residents in Salford. All our small actions can collectively make a big difference for Sally Ford in Salford. Follow the hashtag SalfordSally and make your pledge to Sally. Music